Hello, I'm Robert Stevens, and I would like to share with you the experience of revisiting World Heritage Listed, Lord Howe Island. I felt like a kid again on Lord Howe. It may be because stepping on the island is like going back to your childhood, when you left your doors unlocked and spent your days in fun adventures, like snorkeling in the world's southernmost coral reef. Corals need to grow and calcify fast enough to form coral reefs. The individual tiny coral polyp has a sac-like body with a mouth at the top surrounded by a ring of tentacles armed with stinging cells used to capture tiny animal plankton for food. Over 500 species of fish have been recorded around Lord Howe Island. Of these, 70% are subtropical or tropical fishes that exist here because of the warm East Australian current in the coral reef. The most visible of all the seabirds breeding within the lowland forest on Lord Howe is the white tern. The white tern has the unusual habit of laying its egg on tree branches but making no nest. The bird's single egg is balanced on a near horizontal limb of almost any large tree. However, they favor the Norfolk Pines. One parent sits on the egg to minimize the danger of it falling off. The white terns are the only seabirds on Lord Howe to bring back whole fish for their offspring, held tightly in their bills. When Lord Howe Island was discovered in 1788, one of the original birds found on the island was the flightless woodhead. With no known predators on the island, it had no reason to fly. 
Over time, the wood hen became almost extinct with the introduction of man and his animals. A recovery program has restored the wood hen numbers from only 20 in 1970 to more than 200. We took a walk one afternoon to film the hikers descending from Mount Gower. They walk along the narrow trail, bolstered by ropes, high on the cliffside of Mount Litchburg. This hike is led by Jack Schick, usually twice a week. One of the rewards, after four hours of mostly strenuous walking, is the magnificent view from the top of Mount Gower. The foremost expert on Lord Howe is Ian Hutton, who takes groups to North Bay to talk about a range of topics, including island geology, plant, and bird life. The ocean today, so over the seven million years of existence of Lord Howe Island and Ball's Pyramid, the ocean has eaten away and there's just two and a half percent of the island left. Interesting seabird, they were only recorded breeding here in 1990 for the first time. I found the first nest, they were actually over in the old gulch where we're going shortly. One they built, once they built up to about 10 or 15, they then moved over here and they have built up to about 350 now. Now why they only colonised in 1990, we're not sure. Um, it could be something to do with cats. Maybe they were breeding at Lord Howe Island and humans bought cats in the 1840s and 50s and pushed these things out before scientists recorded them breeding here and getting rid of cats made the island safe again and they recolonised. Or it may be something to do possibly with uh, global warming and food resource being more south and some have established, but interesting, they only established in 1990. 23 kilometres, or a little over 14 miles south of Lord Howe Island, rises the spectacularly rugged volcanic fragment, Ball's Pyramid. The pyramid rises 551 metres or 1,807 feet. One of the world's rarest insects, the Lord Howe Island phasmid, or flightless stick insect, thought to be extinct in 1930, rediscovered in 2001. Only 30 live on the pyramid. We visited the Cantia Palm Nursery, where most of the seedlings are sent to a buyer in Holland. The thatch palm has been marketed since the 1880s as an indoor potted plant. After a long day hiking or filming, it's wonderful to go to one of the lodges for dinner. Usually fish, locally caught kingfish. Tonight we headed to Aragilla, a Balinese flavored small resort and enjoyed the atmosphere and food. As we stood on Clear Place, admiring the distant view of Ball's Pyramid, or stood in the half light of Ned's Beach, our favorite dog, fly, awaiting her owner, Peter Phillips, at the end of the rainy driveway, Hi, fly. still loyal, Hi. or just watching the light transform the day. You understand, as we did, that a Lord Howe morning never leaves you.